Samir just showed up in the latest vehicle in his family's collection and uh, check this out right now. You got not one, but freaking two fuel doors. So how does that? <laughs> All right, so hear me out, okay? Uh, which side is your R32 fuel door? It's on the right. Okay, on the right side. So you pull up on the right side and then you realize, oh man, this line's really long. Let's just go to the left side. <laughs> like to switch over. And or if you ever, or you don't have to remember. Exactly. You just have whichever both one's, sides. Whichever one's smaller. Yeah. But I, I want to show them too. The way that you open them is not like on the door or the lower area like a normal car. It's like in, it's in here, and it's the little switch right there. That is freaking. So weird. That's wild. Check this out. We got the LP. <laughs> Talk about making an entrance. Got the R8 GT, Huracan, Aventador 720. Yeah. How you guys doing? Yeah, what's up? What are you doing over Yo, here? Yo, what up in there? What are you doing over here? <laughs> I feel like with this car, there's so many like little crevices that are like even harder to get at. Yeah. Like, bro, do you ever like get like way into here? Like, yeah, I don't go that far. <laughs> He's like, nah, that point. that's beyond my limit. Yeah. I want a car where it's like, I have a hard time cleaning it just because it's designed so freaking no, abstract. Don't. Yes, <laughs> yes well, I do. Unless you're paying Samir to clean it for No, 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 no. I was going to say, I want, I want to be able to afford a car that's abstract to clean, that way I can pay Samir to clean it. <laughs> okay, okay, exactly. Because once you have that car, BMW then you're comp wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine cleaning a Senna. Like, that car has so many, like, or dude. The the pista with the the hood that oh, goes yeah. all the way down to, to, reach, the, to the to the front in. like yeah, yeah front splitter bro you just in. get your yeah. hand will get lost in the yeah. in the big inlet. This video is brought to you by me, ultramotiveshop.com. I just wanted to let you guys know that we just had a new batch of Harlequin hoodies come in. So go cop them in the shop while you still can because the last batch ran out quick and this is gonna be the final drop of Harlequin hoodies that will probably ever exist in the storefront. So what are you waiting for? Go get some of the most unique and special hoodies that we've ever put out. This might just be me, but I still stand that Performante is better than STO. The STO is cool, don't get me wrong, but this just looks better. The STO is just too much. I feel like you can't even call it pretty. What are you doing? I'm trying to, wait. He's drawing a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get that on order? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they yes. got a full design studio. Yeah. This is where they immerse you into nature environments to get your ideas and your thoughts bubbling in your brain. Dude, people will go in here, they'll sit for like 30 hours, and then they'll come up with something like that. Which and like we wonder what drugs they were on to make <laughs> yeah. it look good. Which like, no offense, but I'm sorry, like... Just... I mean, you could oh. own Schmee's STO. <laughs> you think this is paint? This, yeah. Yeah, it's probably, yeah. yeah. I will say it's not the color that I would choose, but like on this car, because of how aggressive it is, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it kind of suits like, that like, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. Yeah. Like, like I've, I feel like this color works better on this car than like a perf. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm happier that the perf can live on in Lamborghini yellow. Big pimping. So here we have the booger section right there for yes, exactly. the fellow booger enthusiasts at McLaren. Neary, I didn't know there's like more than one white. There's so many you whites. You got Arctic white, you got frost white, you no, got it's ice called, white. You got you bougie guys. white, you got basic white, <laughs> and then you got in between white. It's just, it's just called only, standard it's white. It's in between because there's a it's shadow It's literally it. just called standard white. <laughs> it literally says standard white. Bro, imagine just asking for standard white. Where's the, the expensive colors? Bro, make the worst. So here we go. Here we go. I'm so. Just make the worst spec, bro. Where's the booger green? Oh, here this flux green. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. All right. All right. Interior. Interior. Oh, wheels. Case model spec. Bro, that looks that is so beta spec right here. Ooh, oh, oh, we could really ugly we could really ruin something. Ugly as fuck. No, it's matching. No, it's matching. That. That's too good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we yeah, go. red. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Here, here we go. <laughs> Bro, MSO is huge. Holy crap. This is a scroll wheel, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. right. Carbon package, yes. Oh, it carbon actually package. changed the carbon. Yes. yes. 
<laughs> this is what I do on my free time on like the McLaren website. I'm just like, yes, every package. <laughs> Bro, someone has the same idea. They actually did it. Yo, so you know how we were talking about cars that'd be tough to like detail? Imagine trying to get in the crevices of this. Look at, look at how deep you could just keep wiping. Oh my God, I can't imagine cleaning in there. That's just an endless gap. But if for whatever reason in the world I happen to own one of these, I would be proud to clean this because it just means you have a Senna GTR in your garage. So wait, does this not have like an e-brake or something? Well, that's what we were just saying. It doesn't have the parking caliper. Yeah, look, well, look at that. He's got, he's got it chalked off down there. And yeah, there is no, there's no e-brake caliper in the rear, so. And our man hit a bird if you want to look at the feathers down there. Oh, oh yeah, there's a fe- Dang. Dude, the bird just got like turbine just sucked in through that inlet right there. It's just gone. What do you think? He's got the, the Rocky Mountain edition? The, the Pikes Peak edition. Oh. Damn, I wonder what his uh, hill climb time is. Not good. <laughs> Would you rather have the Ultimate or the 765 LT? Depends. Wait, do, do we, do, do, do we have to pay for That's ownership? Just, do we, yeah. <laughs> it only comes in this green. You don't get the nice green, you get that green. Oh, I'll no, take no, that. No, no, no. I'd still take the McLaren. Okay, okay. Personally, I would prefer driving this car. I just cannot stand that color. So I would take this one. <laughs> the difference is that this will overheat. That will just catch on fire. <laughs> this is a one's a little more extreme than the other. Yeah. <laughs> if you can get it on in the first place. <laughs> no, it doesn't turn on. You just gotta do off and on off to, to make it get out of limp mode. Yeah. You just go 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 go. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll take for that oh. budget. 600 k 458 speciale. This is a nice boat. Oh yeah. These seats are weird. They honestly don't look that fancy from here. I was gonna say the inserts. Like, even on camera, this looks kind of like hmm. the inserts remind me of, like my Dever X. Yeah. Like how like it's like the wove of it. I don't know. Maybe it's base spec. All right, out of a speciale, uh, Ultimate, and then the 765. What car you're taking? Uh. I, I like this one. Yeah, my man. Bro, that's the only SVJ I can afford right now. Yeah, that's like, that's like the nicest one too. Yeah. How does it feel to spectate your car? Kind of strange, away? but very cool. <laughs> it's not getting quieter wherever it's like it goes. It's like I'm at the track. Man. Yeah. Uh-oh. behind me and I somehow shot up a rock and it shattered the side passenger windshield of the comp. Oh. Luckily, luckily as passengers everything's okay. Okay, what about but, the car, like the frame of the windshield and stuff, is that all messed up? Or? Well, I mean, I think I think it's just glass. Okay, okay, good. But, Let's replace it. Okay. This part here ain't. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's freaking wild. Can I turn the car up real quick? That's definitely cool, man. It's, it's very sweet. That is all coolant. What? It's not AC. <laughs> Hoping it was water. Yeah, I, I did do the. T oh, that's it's squirting. It's squirting. He's squirting real good. Is the radio there, Ben? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. His street's working good. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. It's squirting on the radio there. I got my AAA card, I can just go in. Well, is it like... 
it's like one tiny hole that's like this, just squirting like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so you think it was like multiple? So like a big. She got every, it was like a wave. Got her video. She got yeah, she was like, what the hell? She was recording when it just. I'm just surprised how it got into this. Like how this got damaged. I've never seen this happen ever before. Oh yeah, on a side God. window. Yeah, with a side window shattered. You That's know, that nice. can be cleaned out. This can be taken home. Yeah, but what yeah, can't yeah. be is the coolant issue that we now have. We need to figure out that. All because of these suckers. 325 Pilot Sport 4 S's. They're too freaking sticky to follow close behind. Did it, this kick up the rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, it had to have been the Camaro. Oh, yeah, yeah, We kicked up the rocks. Okay. Obviously, the rocks just exist out here. I mean, yeah, you can see in the in the middle, there's just a lot more stuff. So when you're overtaking, that kicked up a bunch. And then the oh. one that shattered the glass was just not even driving through the, the middle. It was just it's literally just driving on the road. road. Yeah. yeah, but we didn't feel anything. Like, it just kicked it all up. If there's anything that you guys watching this can take away from this scenario, uh, don't follow behind big meaty tire cars closely, like my Camaro or any supercar, because it will kick up rocks like hell, and I guess it can get as bad as shattering a side window and uh, destroying a radiator. This is us waiting for a tow. Tim's dancing to the triple A music. Okay, oh, Owen's, Owen's eating a pancake. He's too tired to be a part of this shit. Yeah, he, Brandon's just done. Yo, take a bite real quick. <laughs> I'm just gonna add in a big monch sound effect. Awesome, thanks. We're trying to make the most of the situation out here. My bottle is caving in because you of got, the elevation change. You got water? Yeah, yeah. You want pancake? Nah. <laughs> it's just an interesting game of chess because you can't get a hold of me once I drive back up there to <laughs> get to see the car. And if you put it at a location that's close to it, the driver might, might not be able to see me. The best so. bet would be to be one of you two oh, stay okay. here, have the time. Okay. Okay. So we just need to get it on there close enough. So. Okay, okay. All right, Dustin, what are we going to do? Uh, go back home and get the truck. <laughs> Bigfoot is gonna save the day. All right, you wanna go let the boys know about their five hour wait time? I'm back. Okay, I don't know if I have enough oil, but I'll go back. Well, someone's gotta go back. It sounds like these two are dipping, so. Yeah, those two are dipping. So. Um, so you're just gonna head straight back to your house? I yeah, I'm gonna go, I gotta, I mean, luckily I have the trailer at my house, but I gotta hitch it and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so our ETA to get back to my house is uh, 7.30 p.m. It's two hours. I'm gonna have to go hitch up the trailer and then take another two hours back. So this is at least gonna be four hours and 30 minutes of them waiting around for context of the weight of the situation. Don't buy a trailer. You're gonna be swindled into scenarios like this. I'm just joking though. I'm actually like really happy. I can do whatever I can to help Gray not pay a hefty fee. And also it looks like there is physically no tow truck that can even get to him right now. And uh, it was technically the Camaro's fault that kicked up the rocks. So like, you know, we're gonna do what we can. We got her trailered up. I got some snacks. The sun has just gone down and I'm about to begin another journey, two and a half hours, all the way back to where we were. I'm never gonna wanna do this drive ever again after tonight. You guys can leave a comment down below if you guys have ever been a part of anything like this a uh, midnight mountain rescue mission but this is scary it is absolutely scary to drive into the darkness oh my gosh we're about to go under a tunnel right now let's hear the raptor oh boy I... oh god Okay, I might destroy my trailer. This is frightening because you pretty much enter zones of completely no service. I just entered my last services area for like 74 miles and 
it just feels like I'm driving into the complete abyss of darkness. I'm 25 minutes away from them, and uh, it's gotta be scary for them too because they're just perched up on the side of the road on top of the mountain here somewhere, in like left in the dark. I'm sure a lot of people have probably already stopped and uh, tried to help them too, and uh, they've had to tell them that there is already help on the way but at least I gave them an ETA and sent a messenger to let them know that information. So they'll know when I'm pulling up and I'm only gonna be like 10 minutes late, so that's, that's not bad, that's actually pretty good. But yeah, driving into a mountain with no service, even in this day and age, is just, it's completely frightening. <laughs> Woo! I didn't know you guys like moved. I, pu I pushed it to the gravel because it was safer. Okay, I brought, coolant in case you wanted to maybe just like top it and then just like drive get, it on yeah drive it on i okay. didn't know how impossible it would be to push it is it did you bring mixed coolant like pre-mixed like it's 50 water? 50. yeah okay yeah um but yeah let me let me park up how's it been oh this is part two of uh, being on the side of the road in a broken car okay? like, <laughs> i know now and too. tim's a real so, one tim didn't have up. to stay but he stayed Stayed, but that's out. very smart because you want one working car. Yeah, I was just afraid they would be eaten by a bear or something like that. So I <laughs> stayed in my convertible car as like a little uh, sardine plate in case uh, they came by with it. Well, Here's the freaking troublemaker. There is an M2 coolant. Um, is it? No. I, the thing is, I don't have fucking service. They're like, look it up. Oh, that do be pretty empty. Well, is this cool? We don't even know if this is the coolant. That sure looks like a coolant reservoir. I was gonna say it looks like a coolant. You reservoir. think, right? Okay, that. Okay, at least yeah, we know what oil. what is oil. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is so funny. <laughs> Three monkeys trying to figure out lick it how see. BMW engine works. You Tim, you already licked once today. You want to lick it again? <laughs> sure is coolant. Okay. <laughs> like actually though, can you actually just it know by it, licking well, it? Well, yeah, I tasted it on the ground oh, okay, and it okay. tastes the same. Oh, it tastes like, like grape it. cough syrup. All right, according to our monkey brains, if we, we if we top this off, even though it's gonna leak right out, hopefully it'll be enough just to get this thing from here to there. Dude, I don't understand how people can live out here. Dude, I don't like know. it's actually a safety hazard. Like yeah. it's just like what happens if someone's how having a heart attack. Like can you hold it inside the, the tube so I can see the the the, the thing? Oh, greetings. Hello. I think those are going well. Meanwhile. Oh, is it leaking again? That's another thing that we could take. Oh, it is. It is leaking again, so that is it. All right, well, we. this is kind of a fast thing. So, like, do yeah. you want to just, like, keep what? pouring and then just freaking send it? <gasps> what? Quick close. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, keep coming. Come uh, this. Great, great. A little right. Okay, come on. Yeah. And then bring it a little bit more, just a tiny bit. Stop. All right, that's that's on that's there. Perfect. It it, um, it gets over my bar. Apparently. Oh yeah, it'll just leak on the trailer, but it's all right. Time to bring this thing out of the mountains. And uh, Tim's gonna follow us out here. Just got a minor seven hour extension to our adventure today. It's just how it goes sometimes. And just like that, the M2 is off and headed straight to the shop where they can repair the radiator, the front windshield, and the side glass. All because of some sticky tires. Gosh darn. <laughs>